The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music. The stream is starting soon. In the meantime, enjoy some music.
Ruga likes Liam's live streams. <laughs> they aren't bad, coming from a surface dweller. <laughs> you maggot. Welcome. It is a Saturday morning. <coughs> oh, <clears throat> and it's uh, the weather's changing, so I'm getting a cold because that's what happens whenever the weather changes. I get sick. Hey, man, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Nightbot is finally doing more than just randomly kicking people. And uh, I think he can actually filter keywords. So I need to add words like red spot and battle constant to um, the filters so that people get kicked for talking about them. <laughs> Maybe crazy party, too. That'd be kind of cool. Hey, Clary, how is it going? Of course. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, hey, Michelle. Hey, Bill. Hey, Steven. Hey, Jonathan. How far did I get on Tomb Hunter? Level 7. We're going to replay it because I want to go over some things. Uh, and I'm told there's an update. So I probably should go get that. Hey, Velco. Um... Is it possible to request songs not on YouTube? Um, but if I do Twitch streams, I'll open up song requests. YouTube will hit me with copyright claims if I have music going. Um, Yasef says, I'm happy because I'm listening to your live streams. Thanks. Uh, glad you guys are here. Thank you so much. <clears throat> it's always good. Uh, super canal says, hey, Liam, how's it going on? It's going good on. I uh, hope you guys are having a good Saturday. I know it's uh, it's early for me. It's 7 in the morning here. Um, but uh, it's good to be here. I'm glad that these uh, notifications work. I'm glad you guys showed up. Um, please make sure, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you know when I'm going live. Um, because they'll just, you know, the streams start, and if you don't know they're on, then you're going to miss them. And the cool thing is you can listen on your phone, so maybe it's early where you are. You can, you know, maybe you're still waking up. Turn on your phone and, and tune in. Or maybe it's late there, so, you know, maybe you're out partying. Well, make me your party soundtrack, man. Do all that stuff. Hey, YouTube Gamer, how's it going? Also, I want to say hi to Marinda, who I know is tuning in. Hi, Jane, how's it going? I know it's early there. Am I going to play Manamon ever again? Probably. I'll get to it. Um... I don't know when, uh, but I do need to finish that video. I just, uh, you know, for uh, 4.30 p.m. there says Jesse. Oh, 4.05 oh, p.m. Sorry, I thought it said 4.30. I thought it was like 4.5 p.m. Sorry. Um, yeah, 4.05 4 p.m. there. That's cool. Um, hey, Technology1584, how's it going? Uh, hey, Aaron, how's it going? Uh, so yeah, I don't know, man. Um, it's good to be here as always. Uh, Chloe, it's good to hear from you again as well. Um, thank you for saying hi. Uh, meant to, I was going to send you a message and say hello, but I can't send you messages on YouTube for some reason. So, um, feel free to, uh, message me cause I was going to ask you something about the Philippines and I forgot what it was now. So, um, drop me a message and say hi or something if you want. Jonathan says it's like 5 a.m. here. Yeah, it's early here. Oh, and I just lost the chat. Hopefully I'm still here, guys. 
I'm having issues with the chat today where the chat is like randomly connecting and disconnecting. There it goes. I don't know what's doing. I'm on vacation. I'm listening to your stream. Vacation's good. I need a vacation. Can I make more streams in the morning or afternoon? I can try, but I can't guarantee anything. Kind of really depends on my schedule and how I'm feeling. Um, I haven't been feeling good lately, um, and I'm starting to get better, but the medicine that I've been on has been really heavy, and it's made me really tired. And so because of that, I just have not really been active. Um, and so I kind of try to stream when I'm, you know, awake to stream. Um, but that's not, it doesn't always happen, you know? So, uh, I'll do what I can. I just don't want to promise anything. All right. So Tomb Hunter has an update, I'm told. So I'm going to get that. Uh, 1.0.1. Okay. So let me update here. Let's get this going on. Let's get it started in here. So, uh, what's everyone up to today? What are you guys, what are you guys doing? I know Chloe, it's late there, right? So it's 2 PM in Slovenia. Hey, Samyak. I probably butchered that pronunciation, but Jesse says balls to YouTube chat. No, I like uh, YouTube chat actually. Um, I I'd say it's the best one out of all these. Um, Hey, how's it going? Stella, Ella, Ella, A, 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 A. Uh, that thing needs like an auto updater. It does, or at least a way to check to tell us that there's updates. Um, that would be cool. Maybe we'll get that eventually. Um, because I still have to part finish part 62. Yeah, I do. I've got a bit more to go. I'm not going to do the extra game stuff, but I will at least finish the game so we can become the Pokemon, I mean, the Manamon Master. Um, so, you know. Do what we can. We do what we must because we can. Uh, all right. Let's make sure that this is downloaded. There it is. All right. So like I said, there's things that I like about this game, things that I don't, but overall I'm... Pretty happy. Oh, we got a change log. Cool. All right. Change log. Added in an audio updater. Oh, look, we got it. Fix the typo that played some of the sounds not to play in the sound tutorial. Um, fixed. Oh, robot scanner to think you don't have the uniform. Added the sounds that were deleted. Level 10 will not allow you to go through if you made the speech output logging turned off by default. Fixed. A, oh, okay. That's good. All right, so that's cool. So we know it's new. Um, I've kind of asked if we could get sounds for force fields, even when they're inactive. Um, and that will become really apparent in level seven. So my plan is I'm going to restart the game. If you were here yesterday, you're going to have seen this, but I'm not going to spend as much time talking about the game this time like I did yesterday. So if you are like catching this and going, man, I don't understand, um, go back and check out yesterday's stream because I do a really, well, I think I do a good job of trying to explain the game and explain the particular stuff. Um, so we'll see. Steven says he's just chilling in his recliner. I cannot, man. I, I wish I had, I wish I had like a desk chair recliner. That'd be cool. Can I play Survive the Wild at some point? Probably not. I have no interest in playing that game. So, probably not. Oh, it's 8.07 there, says Chloe. Oh, that's cool. So, it's not too late there. It's like 13 hours ahead of us. That's cool. All right. So, let's do this. Um, let's see. Stream. Close that. Um, one thing I, I do, of course, is I always want to thank all my awesome patrons uh, who make this possible, and they're one of the reasons I'm still streaming here. Oh, look at Super Chat! Talk about that in a second. H. H. Heck yeah, H is a good letter.
H, thank you for the two ninety nine. Says Blind Kid or from Blind Kid. Thank you. H is an amazing letter. Yeah. Thanks to my amazing. Okay, so let me uh, let me thank my patrons. I always like to do this because you guys are the ones that really help me out here, um, and all you guys help me out. But patrons, a little extra special, you know. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, so let me thank Sam Tupi, Sarah Hawk, Mika White, Super Freak, Muramura Arila, Mike Shipper, Tyson Sylvester, Jason Smith, Austin Nix, Chris Scarsted, Simon Yeager, Shane Davidson, Lucas Hajnal. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Austin Perry, Santiago, Chad Blanco, Jack Filichek, and Matthew Cooper. Thanks to all you guys uh, who have helped me. And uh, thanks to you guys at Super Chat. And thank you guys uh, that donate. Of course, if you want to become a patron, uh, patreon.com slash Liam Irvin. And uh, we got cool uh, kind of rewards for patrons. Uh, anything that's seven fifty and up, uh, you get to pick a game that we do in a special series. If you've checked out Let's Play Treon, it's... Uh, Episode one with insect therapy is up there. And that was uh, Heather Messaker requested that. And so you can uh, also get game requests in. And uh, the other cool thing is uh, anything $3 and over, you get your name on that list. And the cool thing is your name is on screen as well. So those are sitting up there. Everyone can see that you it's like a wall of fame sort of like, type, you know. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go over to Tomb Hunter. I've spent enough time bantering. All right, so let's let's play some Tomb Hunter. So, um, yeah, stuff that I I do like. I'm I you know I've been very critical of this game. Oh, super chat. My dog sitting in front of my computer. My dog is sitting in front of my computer. Uh oh, I hope your dog does not like type on your computer. Thank you, blind kid. Can I play Chillingham in my next video? I will do Chillingham probably later this year. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Jackson. Okay. So I'm ready to go. I hope you guys are ready. Let's do this. Tomb Hunter 1.0.1, main menu, Tomb Hunter 1.0.1, register to Liam Irvin. Hey, that's me. Play game. P. All right, so we got play game, continue game, continue game sound, tutorial. sound tutorial. I'm not doing the sound tutorial because I just kind of talk you guys through all this stuff. Um, Options. Oh. If you miss the story, the story is very simple. Uh, I'm not going to read it again. Uh, essentially, we're a kid and we like looking at things through telescopes. We get too close to a tomb and we get sucked into it. That's your story. Are you sure you um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to start over. So we're going to erase my save, and we're not going to do the story. Like I said, I just, I just described it to you guys. Okay, level here we one, go. Tomb one. So level one, tomb one. So immediately we're going to run forward here. This is pretty basic stuff. Uh, we're going to go up this ladder. We can jump up the ladder, which, um, as I've said before, seems dumb, but is very helpful later. Ugh. Oh, and I fell in the fire. Oh, that was not a good start. So I do want to point out that if you die and you reload your game, you don't get whatever lives you, you had when you started. So I'm down to three lives now. So I actually may just restart the game. Main men play game. It's not sure super yes, important. But... Okay. That was Level pretty one. bad. All right, let's do this. Up the ladder we go. Left, repeat, fire. Oh. And that's a nice, easy jump. We don't have to run. Ledge, ten feet. All right, so we got a ledge. And... Ten foot drop on the sand. One feet. Ladder stairs. Three feet. Oh, the ladder's right there, so I'm just going to leap onto that ladder. And we're going to take it up. So right now, we're just uh, essentially... Concrete. One feet. Ledge. Twenty-three feet. We've just got some jumps to make. It's nothing major. Ledge. Six feet. And I'm not even going to... I don't even need to stress this. Just make nice, Ledge, easy jumps. Feet. All right, so now we have another ladder that we're going to climb up. There it is. And like I said, I really wish that you could look up the ladder 
to see how high it goes. Ladder stairs, eight feet, ten, twenty. Now, see, that tells us that the bottom of the ladder is in eight feet, but you don't always get that. That would be kind of nice to know. All right, so we got a skeleton. I'm more about these guys in a minute. Now, skeletons are pretty easy. You just jump over them. As I did right there. Now, I'm going to pick up a scroll. You need scrolls in order to pass the level. So, I'm going to wait for this guy. Where's the rope? There we go. So, one thing about the rope is you have to land in order for the jump to count. Which is kind of weird. You don't grab it in the air, which I feel like you should, but that's okay. Um, so I'm here hanging on this rope. I'm going to read messages really quick. This is a good stopping point. This is a good uh, point to, to check here. See, this skeleton's walking back and forth under my rope. He's like, he wants to get me, but he can't. He can't reach me. Hey, Tetris, how's it going? Hey, YouTube Gamer, please stop scam uh, spamming. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, Chloe, I am doing good. And I have to learn. You'll have to teach me some Tagalog. Like I said, if you have email, so drop me an email because I had a question for you. And I forgot it was now. I'll, I'll remember eventually, but... Oh, 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 I just saw this. Hold on. It's going to go off in a second. There it goes. Got to love Super Chat. Thank you, Jonathan Candler, for the $10. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. Hey, Fire Flame Dragon, how's it going? Do I use Amadeus Pro, Audacity, or OBS? Well, I'm using OBS to stream. My latest... Oh. Also, thank you, Trenton. But yeah, thank you for letting me know about that. I will... I thought I put that up already. Um... Morning, all. Your latest archive's not up yet. Thank you for the $2. Yes, I'll get that archive up once the stream's over. Kumusta... Ka... Kumusta? Kumusta... I think. I'll have to, um, man, I gotta, like, learn this stuff. Live is okay, thanks. This game has very low, well-designed levels, for the most part. I'll, I'll kind of point out where I have issues as we go, because I do have a couple issues. Okay, so I got this ledge. I don't want to land on the snake. Oh, look at I landed right next to the snake. And he's not moving. This is cool. So I can leap over that snake. Leap over that snake. Now, I'm going to tell you that the, uh, those snakes are like the only snakes that don't move. All right. So now we got something going on here. We got some skeletons, some swords. Okay. Now, these swords, this is the one thing about the game that people have an issue with, and I, I did talk about this yesterday. I'll make it quick. Um, weapons are one-time uses. You throw them or you somehow activate them. Um, if you don't... Man, he got really close to me. I'm going to take a step down. Um, if you use a weapon, you've used it. Now, the only cool thing that I like about swords, and, and again, this is like something people have issues with, but I'm telling you it's nice later. When you throw a weapon, it will keep traveling and hitting anything it comes in contact with. So that's kind of cool. So we can, like, throw a sword at a skeleton. It kills the skeleton and keeps going and then kills the other skeletons that are in its way. So that's really handy later. All right, here we go. I'm going to try... Oh! Oh! Alright, I took two hits. But that's okay. I'm not going to stress it right now. Um, I don't want to kill those things, because I'd like to keep my health. Okay. Ten foot drop onto concrete, three feet. Concrete, three feet. Snake, ten feet, ladder stairs. Oh, man, that snake's really chucking. 
Can I? Can I maybe? Can I? Yeah, I think I can. Oh, yeah. All right, so now we got a snake up here. And I think there's two of them. So I'm going to have to plan this out. Uh. Nice. And there's a teleporter. We just go to it. And jump up. And we're in level two. Look at that. My health is not super great, but that's okay. I'm not really stressed about it. Okay, so level two introduces streams. We ride the stream and we sing row, row, row your boat. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Oh, we're through. Okay. So we need to go back, though, because there was some stuff in the air that I want to get. That. Not that. We're going to ride the stream again. Ready? But we're going to sing it quick, because... All right, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Okay. Close enough. Alright, so now we got... Oh, some lava. Okay. Now we get to a little platforming here. So I got a ledge. And right there is a rope. We're going to climb up this rope. Oh, and I hit my head. Alright, so we're going to jump off this rope onto this platform. Whoop! Alright, so we got a rope. Rope one feet. We're gonna climb up there, and if we look to the left. Alright. That's that's okay. Rope eighteen feet. Rope nine feet. Alright, so this rope is if you're familiar with the demo, the old rope, there was no rope here, you would fall. Rope three feet. Which was really obnoxious. But we got a ledge right there, and I hear some skeletons. I'd I, I like to save my swords. So I'm gonna see if I can, like, work over them. Come here. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna have to take a potion. That's alright, though. So. Potion uh, heals over time. Yeah, he fixed the movement on the metal. I do have... Yes, you can. Hold down the escape key. Do I know how to stream in Audacity? I don't even know if you can. I don't know anything about Audacity. Bill says you can kill them. Oh, I know. Trust me, I'm saving my stuff, though. <laughs> Ahaz, or Ahaz, is the Tagalog word for snake. I don't like snakes. Yeah, I'm so glad that uh, it's been rewritten. Yeah, the, the jumping and the running jumping is, like, totally redone now. It's, like, way better. Is the audio game form fixed? No, I don't think it is yet. Fire hazard, All right. So we got to be careful here. We got a fire hazard. Fire hazard seven feet. See, it's right there. Oh. Okay. So there is a way. I forgot the key when you're using the camera. Oh, I jumped back up the ladder. Okay. I forgot the button you use. To uh, see what this current tile is. Ladder stairs, fifteen feet. Okay, so we're gonna head back down. Stairs, Twelve feet, concrete, twenty-seven. Okay. Oh god, we have snakes. Oh, yes. Go check that. There's nothing on the... Um, hold on. Let me check that really quick. I, I didn't open uh, Streamlabs. 
At least we're in a safe spot right now. We're just hanging out on a ladder. So you guys hear there's a snake. I might kill the snake. Um... Because I gotta come back through here a couple times, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But that snake is really moving quick, and I don't like where it's going. Maybe I can avoid it. Let me see. Okay. Alright, here we go. So, big thank you to Liren for the dollar. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. That really means a lot. I, I appreciate all this, you guys. Oh, X. Okay, thank you, Connor. I forgot what it was. Snakes are sexy. What are you talking about? I hate snakes. Hate. Do not like snakes. Alright, so that's snake. I don't... Camera 3850. What the hell is that? Camera 3850. Camera 3950. What is that blip sound? Oh, is that the sword? Camera 3350. Ladder. Oh, I like that you can explore. Camera 3340. Ladder. Okay. I think we can get past the snake. Yeah, I didn't plan that very well. Damn it. Oh, you're still oh you're double poison. That's a bunch of crap. Slightly injured. 181 HP. Alright, that's not good. Slightly injured. Uh I'm gonna reload my save, I think, and just do this level over again. That was I think I'm okay. No potions. No, I have no po Oh, man. I don't know what to do. Uh, I think we could do it. I think we can... I think we can take it. Oh, God. There's snakes down here, too. No weapon selected. Options. <laughs> Poison. Sword. Yay, Tomb Hunter. All right. We're reloading. Level. Because that was not good. Okay. So I didn't even have swords left. Let me just make sure I keep those. Also, thank you for the super chat. Two pounds. Thank you, Blind Gamer. Appreciate that. Uh, Tetris Master, I don't... Or Tetris Monster, I don't even have time. I, I really apologize. It's cool that you have a game idea, though, but... I don't have any idea. Meng... Gang... Dang... Yamaga. Oh, I'm sorry. Chloe, I'm butchering your language. I'm so sorry. Uh. Jonathan says I petted a snake. Well, that's cool. I'm listening to you through the Google Home. That's cool. Probably not getting the stereo effect, but it's cool that you can listen. All right, let's see if I'm missing anything else. Am I going to do two, any Tomb Hunter giveaways? Um, I don't think so. Glad I don't think I'm doing that this time. I really don't think so. Row, row, row your boat gently downstream. Merrily, merrily, left of dream. Left, 14 feet. Two swords. I have two swords. I really... Seven foot drop into a lava hammer. One feet, metal, two feet. Make sure. Oh, eight feet. Climb up that rope. We can fall under that. Oh, 18 feet, eh? I didn't really want to do that. I panicked, though. Damn it. Fire hazard, 8 feet. Fire hazard, 5 feet. 
Oh, I almost ate it. See, I just hate these snakes. Ladder stairs, five feet. I have Copy. no love for these snakes. Ladder stairs, two feet. Oh, look at that. I got it and I didn't screw up. Okay, I want this snake out of the way, though. At least I think I do. Oh, yeah, he's really moving. I want him out of the way. Alright, now we have our first vanishing platform. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a nice present. Okay, we gotta make our jump back over this platform again. Oh, I got three swords. I'm gonna wait. I wanna be good on this jump. Okay. Now this is fun because down here Concrete, four feet, ledge, ten feet, hazard, we have a teleporter on top of a that's okay so now we're on level three and uh, I like I said I wasted a sword stupidly but that's okay I, I like I said I panicked Aos Lang, for it's okay. I've had snakes uh, hanging around my neck. True enough, they were sedated. Well, yeah, it's like the only way I'm going to let a snake hang around my neck is maybe if it's dead. Hey, K5. Um, no, I, I might. I don't know. I might. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about giveaway. I just, um,. Right now is not. I mean, I, I probably should now that it's like 15 bucks because you know I me, mean? I got to pay for the giveaways. No one ever sponsors anything, so. Just kind of the way it works. All right, so level three. But, well. We're going to go into some water. And we're going to do some swimming. Ah, there we go. Ooh. All right, so this is really easy. We're getting some gold, extra lives. Hey, it's the ta is that the Taco Bell bell? Think outside the bun. But we got look at a lot of extra lives. More gold. Right, I guess we gotta go up. Nothing. Mud, five feet, dirt, ten feet, skeleton. Mud, three feet, dirt, eight feet, skeleton, twelve feet, sword, seventeen feet, sword, twenty-seven feet, skeleton, twenty-eight feet, skeleton, twenty-eight feet. Oh man, there's a lot of skeletons. Hmm. Hey. Okay. Did I miss a sword? I did! Ooh, I better use a potion. Yeah. See if I can get that sword. I might trade a sword for...
Yeah, I wasn't. Oh, that was all right. That was a fair trade, I guess. Concrete, two feet, spider, 11 feet, spider. Oh, immediately. I do not. One feet, spider, 22 feet, ladder stairs. Oh, I missed the spider? Are you kidding me? that gold. I want that gold. Oh, look at that. Concrete, two feet, snake, five feet, snake, six feet, life, six feet, ocean, nine feet, wall, 14 feet. Oh, we're going to take out those snakes. Concrete, one feet, life, five feet, ocean, eight feet. Actually... There we go. I guess I really didn't need to, but I just, the last thing I wanted... Was ...to get shortchanged. Alright, Tomb 2. Alright. This one's not horrendously difficult, so if we're smart... Oh, I should talk about the store. So, we have, if you press Z, you go into the store. And you can exchange gems, so I'm gonna get rid of all these gems. And I'm gonna get rid of... I'm gonna buy some swords. There we go. I got four swords. Oh no, I just threw one! Son of a biscuit! It's all right. No big deal. Shop. Buy a sword. Buy gold. S -S 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 gold. You bought a sword. You bought a sword. You bought a sword. You bought a sword. You now have seven. There we go. I got seven swords. Good thing I could reload. Hey, Kenny. Estat Espada or Tebek for sword, says Chloe. Uh, the, car the, the pan sounds don't pan when you walk. Do you think you can play Code 7 on the stream one day? Yeah, maybe I could. Eventually, I gotta do that one. Cooking breakfast while listening. That's cool. I like, I like breakfast. What are you making me? Better be something good. Okay. Let's uh, go back up. And... What do we got? Let's head feet, oh, fire hazard, feet. we got some running jumps. Look at this. Left, five feet, fire hazard, six feet, left, ten feet. Left, seven feet, fire hazard, eight feet, left, twelve feet. Oh, that was close. Now we have a maglev. maglev we get to ride these down. Sand, 15 feet, nothing. And I think it'll take us. Ben, 21 feet, nothing. Took us somewhere. Oh, we got a spider. No weapon selected. There we go. Ladder stairs, 14 feet. Concrete, 17 feet. Like I said, I cannot deal with the spiders. I can't hear them. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna check over here first. Concrete, three feet. Scroll, 26 feet. Yep, there's stuff over here. Let's try and get that first. Now, I think I talked about this. Goal, two feet, goal, five feet, ocean, six feet, left, seven feet. That... Left, two there feet, are four, things. Three feet, seven foot drop on the ledge. Four feet rope. Five feet seven. Left two feet four two feet seven foot. Seven foot drop on the ledge. One feet rope. Two feet seven foot drop into a fire hazard. Three feet. So if you can actually make the, if you can grab the rope here, you can avoid the vanishing platform. I don't know if I'm gonna make this or not. I'm gonna try it once though. Yeah, I got it. Seven, 
Put up on the ledge, one feet, ledge, two feet, concrete, three feet. Ledge, two feet, seven feet. Look at all this. Gold, one feet, gold, two feet. Ledge, three feet, five feet. Now I just avoided that whole thing. I was able. Ledge, two feet, seven feet, put up on the ledge, three feet, rope, four feet, seven. Seventeen foot drop on the left. One feet rope. Two feet. Seventeen. Got it. Fire hazard. Nine feet. Good. Oh, we gotta be careful. Seven foot drop into a fire hazard. One feet. I think. Seven foot drop on the left. One feet left. Two feet. Oh, feet. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get onto that ledge. Fire hazard. Six feet. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I just totally avoided that fire hazard. Concrete stairs, 20. Yeah, I just went down. Yeah. There we go. That kind of worked out in my favor. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Very injured, 94. Concrete stairs, 2 feet, wall, 5 feet, dirt, 8 feet, 55 Ooh. foot. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm screwed. Spider. Ooh. Go. Very injured. One hundred. My God. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about level five now. Now let's see what I got. Um, eight gold, eight gold two and two gems. So I'm gonna Position, one, get more zero, swords. I will exchange a gem for three gold. Three gold gain. You now have three gold gain. I have potion. Ten gold. Ooh, I, how am I doing potion wise? Oh yeah, yeah, we'll be okay. All right. Shop, buy a sword. I'm gonna even sacrifice a life if I think that I just need full health. Buy a, buy a sword. All right, buy a sword. I'm gonna grab. There we go. Eight swords. Yes. Because I want those later when I do level seven. Um. Wish we could translate Tomb Hunter into other languages. That would be cool. Ginto for gold. The unfortunate thing is I'm going to forget all this, Chloe. <laughs> I, I'm going to forget a lot of this. Just saying. But I appreciate it, though. Force field, seven feet, skeleton, all right, feet. so we got a force field. Force field, six feet, skeleton, seven feet, ladder stairs, twenty five feet. Force field, four feet. Force field, two feet, ladder stairs, twenty one feet. See, I just can't. Oh, God. All right, so up here, Ledge, nine feet, two. we get to do some jumping. Okay, so we're going to wait for this platform to. So we're making our way across these platforms. Two foot drop into a chasm hazard. Two feet left, ten feet. Right, we're okay. Two foot drop into a chasm hazard. One feet left. Oh wow, I landed right on that ledge. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Right, I'm gonna wait for this next one. One feet, scroll, seven feet, checkpoint, ten feet, ladder. Oh, God. All right, there's our scroll, and here's our first checkpoint. Stairs, one feet, wall, four feet. Nothing. Eight swords. Man, I am so good with these swords right now. This is amazing. Concrete, three feet. Okay, and if I remember correctly... Nothing. This is where we're going to get ambushed. It's an ambush! So, uh, we're going to just try to, like, run through here... So if I take a look. Camera 144, 20, concrete. Camera 149, 20, concrete. Camera 170, 20, air. Oh wow. Camera 167, 20, air. Camera 165, 20, air. Camera okay. 160, 20, air. 
Where's the... Camera 153, 20, metal. Metal. Okay, so we're at... Position 115. 115. So we've got to go about like 30 to 40, I think. So let's do it. Oh, man. Bunch of skeletons. I'm going to take these out. Because these... If I can get them... See, they're all... Nice. Nothing. Use two swords on it. Six. But skeleton. Seventeen feet. Ladder stairs. Twenty-seven feet. Come on, buddy. All right, I hear potions. Concrete. Two feet. Potion. Eight feet. Snake. Twelve feet. Sword. Eighteen. Mm. Concrete, one feet, ocean, seven feet, snake, ten feet. Sword, four feet, snake. Shit. Sword, sword. Take the death, take the death. Yeah, take the death. Alright. Wall, three feet. Ladder stairs, one feet. Now, the nice thing is, you don't have to worry. Concrete, two feet, snake. Oh god, yes we do. Wall, two feet. Oh yeah, so we could have ran right into that wall and been okay, I think. Concrete, one feet. Skeleton, twenty four. Alright. Ladder stairs, 18 feet, wall, 20. Okay. Well, I could trade a sword for a sword. Snake, 14 feet, snake. I killed him! Snake, 8 feet, ladder. Are you effing kidding me? Did I miss that sword? Ladder stairs, one feet. Force field, nine feet, force field. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know if I got that sword or not. Five swords. Concrete, two feet. Snake, 15 feet. Ladder stairs, 20. One foot drop onto concrete, two feet. Two foot drop onto concrete, two feet. Yeah, I think I got it. Drop onto concrete, two feet. All right, whatever. All right, now we get this fun part. This part's special. So we're going to run across this metal area. If the force field knocks us back... Force field, 8 feet. Force field, 23 feet. Force it like... Field, five feet. Force field, 12 feet. Force field, 3 feet. Wall, 10 feet. <laughs> That's what it does! Concrete, three feet. It says this flying all the way back. Snake, 17. Concrete, one feet. Skeleton, 29 feet. Snake, 16 feet. Ladder stairs, Twenty. Or a snake. Well, let's try this again with less failing. Force field, six feet. See, this is where I wish they would like make a rumble sound. Cause it's so hard unless you're using the Force field, twelve feet. Force field, seven feet. Force field, five feet, long. Force field, three feet. Where the hell am I? Snake, 18 feet left. Oh. Extremely. Well, maybe I can make it. 
It didn't kill me at least. But this is my problem. I hate these force fields. They're very difficult to deal with. Force field, nine feet. Force field, two feet. Force field, seventeen feet long. Ugh. What? I was two feet from it. That's ridiculous, man. I was not even close. I was two feet from it. Snake, well. Ah! Oh. Mm. 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 Are you kidding me? Mm. Mm. I'll just friggin... Mm. Mm. Oh. Decent. Mm. Fine. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so frustrating. Mm. Well, you're still... Oh, you're a mm. jerk. Mm. Fine. Man, you're making me use all my potions now. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, come on! Alright. Not much we can do about it. Oh, come on! Uh. One potion. Look, I'm down to one potion now. Uh. Oh, this is ridiculous! Force field, eight feet. Force field, four feet. Force field, nine feet. No, I don't even trust this. It's gonna go back on once I go. Force field, ten feet. Wall. Force field, five feet. Right, are we done? Man, I'm so screwed right now. Oh, we're gonna ride the maglev, okay. We nothing. Level portal, twenty eight feet. Six, All three. right. Four gold. I have four gold. No gems. And no gems. I really wish that gold and gems were a little more prevalent starting out. <sighs> See this? The force fields have an area of effect, so you need to stand at least three feet away. Are you kidding me? Very good pronunciation for Ginto. Thank you. Oh, God. This is pissing me off. Ledge, 18 feet, hazard. All right, so now we're going to ride some platforms. Up. All right, so when we hear the beep... Oh, come on! It really sent me back, though. All right. Up. Up. So, we're going to just kind of wait for that to go off. I'm going as fast as I can. Snake, 20 feet, ladder stairs, 29 feet. Oh. 
ladder stairs. 27 feet. Twen <sighs> four swords. Well, I still have four swords. Six gold. I have no six gem. gold and no gems. So at least... Oh my god, what did I just do? Ladder stairs. Oh. Three feet. Nothing. Ladder stairs. Three feet. Concrete. Two feet. Ocean. Five feet. Ocean. Nine feet. Sword. Eleven feet. Ledge. Twenty feet. Check. Okay. So we got some much needed Four potions. potions. Injured. One hundred fifty. I'm injured, but you know I don't. I'm not gonna even stress it. All right. So this is the part that people really hate. I didn't know that, Connor. Thank you for telling me, though. All right. Twenty-five foot drop into a hazard. One feet rope. Two feet. Two feet on the rope. Got it. Hazard. Twenty-five feet. So this is where we got to be careful because this rope actually ends. Hazard. Fourteen feet. Hazard. Ten feet. It ends there. Eight foot drop into a hazard. One feet. So. Oh, two feet. Add. Add her. Twenty-three feet. Oh, it looks like one more thing. All right, three. No. Rope one feet. Didn't make it. the metal. Two feet. Rope one feet. Fifteen foot drop on the metal. Two feet. Very injured. 117 HP. Three lock. Hazard. 17 feet. I guess I gotta jump onto that thing. Alright, so the cool thing is, because I didn't jump, I landed on this thing with a checkpoint, so if I die here, that's okay. I actually will take that death um, if I have to. Now I got a whole bunch of enemies cruising back and forth. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go into. But everything is going Nothing. that way. is over this way. And it might be over here. Camera 58, zero, air. Camera 43, zero. Camera 36, zero, cam. Camera 36, three, air. Camera 38, three, air. Camera 38, zero, cam. Camera 41, zero, wall. Camera 40, zero, cam. Camera 43, air. Camera 42, air. Camera 39, two, air. Camera I'm just trying to two, air. map out my Camera 38, three, air. plan of attack. Because i got to pick a direction and run in it. Nothing. Three foot drop on the hand. Three feet wall. Twenty four feet. And I chose correctly. All right, now I got to talk about this because immediately this is where it's going to get crazy. Also, thank you for the super chat for two pounds. Thank you, blind gamer. 
Yu Hung Hunging or Hungjin for sand. Too big for water. Put putic for mud. Okay, so this is where I've had the issue last time. But I've done some thinking about what I'm supposed to, or what I'm going to do here. So, um, I'm going to have a, uh, a boulder chasing me. And, uh, if I get a game over, it's no big deal. So I'll show you this, is how much time you have when you start the level. So there's the boulder. It's coming. Yeah, not a lot of time. So let's go. We got full health. All right, we're going up this ladder. And I'm just... Menu. Oh, I got to that ladder though. Whew. And what got me was I didn't jump up the ladder. Oh, you did? Cool. Thank you, Chloe. I appreciate that. Can you save it anytime you want? No, um, you save. So it saves when you die, and it saves between levels. Although when you die, it only saves the fact that you've lost a life, but it does save anything that you've killed and picked up in the level. But it does not save like the checkpoint, I believe. Or I don't know what it saves. I think it only saves that you died. Actually, it's kind of complicated. And actually, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so. Let's give this another shot. So, we know that we have potions. We know that we want to make use of them. My biggest complaint is these um, force fields. I just don't have time. Band sucks, says Dingo. Band. The evil boulder. I hate this evil boulder. I hate it. Hate the boulder. Why can it start, like, way further back? Or... I don't know, not be there. Can I throw a sword at it? Hey guys, can I throw a sword at this boulder? Should we try it? Two, one, three, one. No, you can't throw a sword at it! No! Main menu. Play you game. can't throw a sword at the boulder. But I tried. <laughs> Tried to throw a sword at the boulder. I was hoping maybe it was like some cool secret where you threw a thing at the boulder and it like died. <laughs> oh well. What are you gonna do? It is what it is, man. Alright, so we're gonna give this another shot here in a second. Oh, God. Oof. At least I'm not as mad as I was last time. Um, I was very unhappy last time. I was very displeased. <laughs> um, I'm still frustrated because I, I feel like you don't have enough time with the um, 
with the force fields. Now, also, too, I mean, as I've said, I am partially deaf in my right ear. So that kind of has a lot to do with it. Um, some of my issues come from the fact that I just don't have a lot of hearing in my right ear. The hearing that I have is, is I'm losing, like, I've lost some frequency. So things like the force fields... Things like the snakes are really hard for me to hear. So, to be fair, a big part of this might not just be the game, but it may be my limited hearing. And that really sucks, you guys. I, I love games, and I hate the fact that um, I might be limited from doing things that I enjoy. And that's I think that's the hardest thing for me, is um, dealing with that. Because if this was 10 years ago... I'd have no problem hearing the things that were coming towards me. Um, but I I just can't hear them. I can't hear them. And that really sucks a lot. Um, thank you, Colette. I appreciate it. Luca says, I'm so happy you're streaming now. It is afternoon to me. I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Remember when you tried to pause the game with the shop? Yeah, Chloe, I'll I'll drop you a message um, a little bit later. I guess I'm gonna give it another try, you guys. This is is tough. I'm I don't know if I'm ever gonna beat this, um, but I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll try. Oh good. I don't know, man. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Level seven. What does that mean? I jumped right in it. That was my fault. Again, and I can't hear that fire in my right ear either. So I have to kind of just like... Ugh. No! I jumped right in it again! Fall, fall. Ugh. No. Up, 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 up. There you go. Ugh. Jump. Oh, I jumped too soon. Game over. Main menu. Play game. game. Ugh. But see, that's kind of what you got to do with this level. Liren, thank you so much for the five Polish PLNs. What are PLNs? It does the 300 thing when you reload a game with a save file for some random reason. Kenny says it's too early for me. It's night sling in the morning. Kenny, it's always too early for you. Rocky says 300. Rocky! How's it going, man? I forgot I made you a moderator. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Stella. Ella. Ella. Sorry. Liam burnt to death. I know. I died again. Continue. Play game. Continue. Three. All right. Levels. Four. Wait. Two hundred one. Am I still falling? Position ninety minus one hundred forty-nine. I'm still Air falling. Position ninety. Look at this. <laughs> ah, I finally fell. <laughs> nope. Not gonna do it.
No! Wall one. Five foot drop on the river, four feet. Oh no, I get water? No! That's ridiculous, man! <laughs> now I gotta wait, because I'm not gonna make it in time. I jumped. I jumped. Get out of here. I jumped. Kamadian. Kamadian. For death. Let's just call it Liam. I mean, Stella says, oh my god, that fall. You gotta get that changed. Go, you know where you do that? Go to your Google profile. Uh, Stella and you can change it right in there um you can change your name right in there uh, it's super easy to do I can't help I I'm gonna just keep doing it I don't mean to do it but oh yes Liam you suck at this game I hope you get to level 13 so you help me find the scroll I can't find ha huh. Orioles, thank you so much for the five dollars. And yes, I know I suck at this game. Do you really have to remind me? Damn, dude. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Rocky says I forgot you made me a moderator. Yeah. Me too. Oh, it's like two dollars. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you, Gra uh, Drago. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. All right, that makes sense. No problem. All right, so do we try it again? At least we know that there's a river. A friggin' force field pushed me right back into that boulder. Ugh. It's just, it's rough, man. It's, it's rough. I mean, the good thing is now I know what's coming. I know that there's going to be a river coming. Two. Bet you die again. I probably will. Three hundred press enter second level. Up, 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 up. Fall. Oof. No, not enough time. Damn it. Three hundred twenty-five HP. I jumped! I jumped, man! Alright, go up, go up, go up, go up. Oh, you should have jumped, you should have jumped, you should have jumped. Okay, no big deal, no big deal. Ugh. No, you fell right in it, dude. You fell right in it. Jump, jump, jump! Are you kidding me? 
I didn't even hear that thing. Menu. Okay. It's these. This is why I want sounds for the generators to let me know where the uh, force fields are. Midnight Fig says, "What are we playing? We're playing uh, Tomb Hunter." Ista for fish. Well, I hope we don't find any fish because they'll probably try to eat me. Today should have been Friday if you catch my drift. No, I, I don't. Uh, Stella, I don't get it. Took me a few tries to get to level 8 as well, says Oriel. Yo, are you going to finish AHC? I did! The whole uh, playlist is done. Check it out. And of course, Mason, Mason has to put all the things that slow you down in a level that where it's crucial to be quick. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I feel like for a level 7, that this is really tough. Um... And the thing is, like, I like a challenge, but, like, to me, this is not super enjoyable. Um, like, I mean, it's not not enjoyable, but I'm not having as much fun as I've had with other games. <laughs> I keep frying. Him. Oh, Friday. Oh, I get it, Stella. Play Marina Break for a minute. Oh, we played that yesterday. Um, no actually, what I might do later is play some Madden NFL because um, the Bears game is tomorrow. So I thought I'd play out the Bears game and actually help the Bears win because they never will otherwise. Uh, and I want to talk about how blind people can play some Madden. Um, this game is paid, yes. Um, I forgot the exact link to it, but... Um, I'm sure someone will. Well, if you guys try to post links, I don't think it'll let you. Uh, if someone wants to try to post a link to it, I'll try to uh, try to accept it. How do I get Jaws to read comments? I just read them. I, I don't really understand what you mean. Okay. Take a break for a second. No messages there. Let me see if there's anything on the Twitter. Anything from the... Oh, we got a mention on Twitter. Oh, Al just says he's going to check it out. You can call him Al. Get it? Because the song from... Yeah. You guys get it, right? Hello, anyone? No? No, no. Continue. Yeah. no yes, no? Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to try this again. Um, I'm. What I'm going to try to do... I punched a monkey. Yep. Yeah, I'm interested in how blind can play NFL, even though I know more about baseball. I love, dude, if we can play a baseball game, you will never see me again. All I will do is play baseball. I love baseball. I mean, I just adore baseball. Um, You can't play, it doesn't work on PS4. They don't have the rumble stuff. Da bears, says Rocky. Yeah, bears. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try one more time. No, damn it. Oh, that's already a really bad start. Oh, that's really horrible. All right. Oh, of course, now you're going to make me wait. Water. Oh, 
No! Oh my god, I, I don't know, man. I think this level needs to be easier. This is not a level 7 level. This is like a level 17 level. <laughs> Game over with me. Yeah. This is uh that's like a level 17 deal. That's 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 tough for level 7. Nicola says you really need to jump more. Okay, well, you know, I'm trying to do that as much as I can, but the problem is is that I cannot tell when the things are coming up because I am partially deaf in my right ear. People I think are forgetting that. <sighs> Whatever. And of course you know how to do the game, dude. You helped build it. See, here's... Okay, let me, let me explain something about writing a game, right? I don't want to hear anyone ever say, hey, this is easy when they've made the game. Because of course it's easy. You built it. So you understand how it works. Whereas somebody who has not played it for hours at a time as they, as they as they built it doesn't really know all the intricacies so i don't want to hear anyone like that'd be like me going wow super liam's really easy well yeah i made the damn thing i should know it by by heart you know ironically level 17 is one of the easiest games in the entire easiest levels in the entire game Yes, yes, I agree with you. I'd rather play NHL hockey. I know that's if I could have hockey and baseball, I'd I'd be in heaven. <sighs> Why couldn't the bowler roll over the snakes and stuff too? And how does it avoid getting burned in the pits? Super Liam is actually really easy. Well, yeah, it is. Thank you, Liren. Every player has different skills, so don't judge anyone, especially if you're a developer. You know, and that's that's just it. Like, it's like me saying, like, um, I was I forgot what I was working on. Oh, it was a blinded guide. So blinded guide. When I was building it originally, it was a lot harder. And all the beta testers were like, well, this is really hard. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's easy. And then I stopped to think about it and go, yeah, you know, it's easy for me because I built it. So it, as, as a developer, you have to listen to what people say. And if people are like, man, this is hard or man, this is like really frantic. Like, yeah, there's going to be people that are going to be beat it. But like if most of the people can't beat it or people are getting really frustrated with it, you have to adjust based on that. Oh, and uh, Stella, you said you posted the link. All right, let me see if I can find it because I don't... Uh, I don't see it. Did the bot erase it? I think it did. All right, so how about... No, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be extremely good at uh, Nicola, but what it means is that you understand the intricacies of it. So like if you make a game that's based on like random or chance, yeah, you may not be good at it, but you understand how it works. So like by building it, you have that advantage that say a regular player does not have. So, you know, for instance, that like, you know, every sort of, you might know every layout, like, okay, in 25 steps, the fire pit's going to be there. So I know I can jump X amount of times. The problem is, is that as a player, I don't have that information. So I have to like, build that database of information as I'm playing. And if I have to play a level 500 times to learn the entire layout of it, because I have a boulder chasing me, it's not fun. It's just, it's tedious and it's frustrating. And I, you don't know them. That's my big thing. Like uh, it, that's where I'm, I'm getting frustrated. Like, as you guys saw, I mean, I got to the water part and that's fine. And again, I, I'll point out part of it is my hearing. So, you know, again, if I could hear perfectly, I might have made that through. I, I probably would have gotten through that. 
well, yeah, you don't play like that. But the thing is, is that even though you don't play like it, your brain still knows. Trust me, I've, I've been doing this for 18 years. I know what I'm talking about. Whether or not you you consciously think of it, your brain still knows. I promise you it does. I've been I've been making these like for 15, 16 years, technically. I mean, yeah, like 17 years. So I know. I mean, it just it's what you do. You don't think about it. I don't think about it either, but it, you just do it. All right, so we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna play some Xbox. If you don't like Xbox, um, now is the time for you to tune out, but thank you for being here. If you do like Xbox, basically, oh, Liren says, basically, to be honest, most of the game suffers from sound sources, like something like a generator to have an idea when the force is exactly. And that's like, I'm saying like, I would like to know as a gamer, especially if I'm running, um, where I'm going to be wanting to find those those force fields. I don't have time to stop and scan because when I scan, now I'm giving that t that boulder time to catch up. But uh, whatever, you know what? I mean, not my game. So ultimately, you take out the boulder and stick it on a different level. No, I, I like the boulder where it is. I like the concept of that boulder. Um, I, I actually really, when I first tested this and I got to the boulder, I was like, that is cool. But what I don't like... Hey, Liam, if there was a quiet beeping sound playing in your good ear when there's a sound playing in the bad ear, and I think that would just confuse me. I just, I, I don't know how you solve it because my my hearing condition is so weird. Um, You know, what was the first game I ever did? I think it was Guess the Number. Hey, should we play it? Let's play Guess the Number. I think I got it in here. Yeah, I do. That's the first game I ever made. Hellworks presents Guess the Number. The computer will randomly select a number between 1 and 10, oh and you'll God. have three chances to guess. If you guess correctly, you win a prize. If you're wrong, you lose. Have fun. Use your up and down arrow keys and the enter key to select the number. The computer is randomly selecting a number. The number has been selected. Go ahead and guess. Okay. One, two, three, four, I'm going to say five. Sorry, oh. your guess is incorrect. Your guess was too high. Four, three. Sorry, uh -oh. your guess is incorrect. Your guess was too high. It's either two, two. or one. Is it two? No! Sorry, your guess is incorrect. Your guess was too high. It was Sorry, one! Sorry, but you've run out of guesses. Would you like to play again? Yes. The computer is randomly selecting a number. Oh. The number has Sorry. been selected. I was trying to Go leave the window to read the um, messages here on YouTube. Is that younger me? Oh, yeah. That's like 16-year-old me. Oriole says, I want this game. Thank you, Luca, for the 99 cents. I appreciate that. Too bad this isn't available. Isn't it on Audio Games Archive? This is what I mean. Less text, more audio. Just my opinion. Or like a, a BK3 style like menu where you can pause the action to get an idea of what the playing field looks like. That'd be pretty cool. I'm down for that. I had a cool voice. Yeah, I wonder what went wrong. All right. Two, three, four, five. Five. Sorry, nope. your guess is incorrect. Your guess was too low. Ooh. Six, seven. Sorry, oh, your no. guess is incorrect. Your guess was too low. Eight, it's nine, ten. Eight, nine, or ten. Oh, God, I got a 33% chance. Nine. I'm going to go nine. B9, B9. Woo! You win a free copy of Eudora. <laughs> Would you like to play again? Yes. Oh, God, that's such a dated joke. Oh, my God, that joke is so 18 years ago. <laughs> yes rocky i know there's two other versions of this game yes yeah I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna play those on stream but those are hilarious no yes i'll play one more time the computer is randomly selecting a number Bing, the number has been selected go ahead and guess one two three four five Sorry, your guess is incorrect. Your guess was too low. Six, seven, eight. Sorry, your oh, guess is please. incorrect. Your guess was too low. Nine, ten. 
Sorry, no, it was nine again. Is incorrect. Your guess was too high. Sorry, but you've run out of guesses. Would you like to play again? Yeah. No. Thanks for playing Guess the Number. Come back soon. Oh, it doesn't even have... Oh, it has a readme. Guess the number. The computer will choose a number between 1 and 10. Use your up and down arrow keys to choose a number between... Oh, between 1 and 10. You'll have three guesses. If you're right, you'll win a prize. If not, you lose. You'll need DirectX to play this game. Note, to exit this game during at any time, press the escape key. I hope you enjoy it. Email me at liam at lworks. Oh, yeah. So I, I did have lworks.net at that time. Wow. Friggin' ancient, man. The alternate version of this is so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, you, you updated. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not... Like, I'm not trying to rain on your parade. Please don't think that I'm trying to do that um, at all. I'm just... I'm. I mean, the point that I'm just trying to make is that, like... It's, it's, I mean, it's hard, dude. It's hard to make a one size fits all game. It really is. Um, because what's easy for me is hard for you. What's hard for you is easy for me. It's just that like it, I don't know. And I, I think I've been very blessed to have a really good team of beta testers of all experience levels behind me. And I've been able to like, look at what they do and then adjust it to try to be like in the middle. So like super Liam was the same way when I was building it. Like I would, um, I have this weird way of, of doing testing. So as I build something, I give it to the testers. So like, let's say I add like brain stations, a really good example. I'll add a new game and I'll give it to the testers and I'll just say, play the heck out of this. Let's figure it out. So like I make them test that particular part of the game and then we figure out what the problems are, if there are any, and we adjust it. Um, and so usually by the time the game is done, I have a really well polished product because I've gone over everything with a fine tooth comb. Will the fur will the full version of Elworks words ever be free? No, because I don't have the source code. So I don't even know how to I can't even do anything with it. If level seven gets easier, will you play the game? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. No, I want to play the game again because I want to see what else there is because it gets really interesting later. We get some fun stuff to do and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's just like I said, it's it's hard and it's um, it's not impossible. You can do it. And yeah, you got to do a lot of jumping. It's just like I said, I have I suffer from the issue where I can't hear certain frequencies in my right ear. If I could figure out what I lost, I would show you guys what it sounds like in my right ear. Um, but needless to say like if you talk to me in my right ear i can't understand what you're saying um i can't enjoy like music in my right ear so i pretty much just use my my right ear as a guide like i can hear that there's sound but i can't make out what the sound is so liren says for me a good beta team should consist of very experienced players and people who are not that good just to balance the game yeah and that's what i actually do i really i run the gambit of, of people that game a lot and people that don't and so like i mean the the feedback i get is really interesting on on concepts now brain station is kind of a different kettle of fish because it's not really based so much on skill it's not like oh my god can you jump pits and and all this but it is interesting to see what people enjoy and what they don't enjoy and then like work with that and then adjust you know and and find out like what features they want versus what they don't want a lot of stuff that's going to be in the final version of the game even small things are going to be based on requests the fact that achievements are broken down into categories is based on requests i got the fact that like um, there are more achievements are, are going to be based on like I had people suggest achievements to me on the on the team, so we built them into the game. So it's all it's you know it's all based on like the feedback you get, and um, that's really what it comes down to. So hold up, is all your high frequencies lost out of your right ear? Can you hear lows at all? Um, so I think I can hear about zero to four thousand. And that's not great. And then between, I think, four and eight is non-existent. So I'm missing like a whole center. I'm missing like a whole center band. Um, do you know what will be the price of Brain Station? No, I do not right now. 
uh there will be more when i get the game done uh whatever that is um i'll have more info on like the price and all that stuff but it'll be more than a dollar and less than 99 dollars. that's all i know so it'll be somewhere you know it'll be somewhere in there you win a bunch of barking dogs oh yeah oh my god yeah let, let me play those really quick um Let me play those because now you guys brought those up. I do want to. So there's all these different things you can win in um, in Guess the Number, and they're all really dumb. You win a can of cola. Exploding cola, that is. <laughs> you win a new car. Oh, okay. I guess not. You win a free copy of Eudora. <laughs> you win a bunch of barking dogs. You win a date with Micho. First, we'll go out to dinner. Then, we'll see a movie. After that, we'll see another movie. <laughs> oh, God. You win. Insert prize here. Oh, my God. So, yeah, those were the, um, those were the wins in, uh, too bad there's not haptic headphones. Oh, that'd be great. I love some haptic headphones. That would, uh, man, that would really help. Someone needs to invent that. Now, someone told me about these headphones that will adjust themselves for your hearing, and I've never tried them because they're like 400 bucks. But I wonder if those would make a difference for me. I, I think my, uh, I think my hearing is so screwed up that it wouldn't even matter. And that makes me sad, but. I don't know, man. It's, you know, it could be worse. I could be deaf. So, yeah, yeah I do. Uh, I really appreciate you streaming our game. I mean, uh, is there anything else you found problem? No, not really. I mean, um, no, I can't think of anything. Uh, I just, like I said, some sounds are hard to hear, but again, that's my hearing. So don't, don't take the fact that like Liam can't hear things is the fact that the, there's a problem with the game. I would like to see generators for the um, force fields though. It'd be kind of nice to hear a humming noise to let you know like, Oh, there's going to be a force field generator that's going to come up. Um, it'd be kind of cool if the force fields were a little more zappy, like they made more noise because it's kind of this thin sort of electrical sound. I mean, I might just be me. So don't again, take what I say with a grain of salt, but what time is it there? 8.39. So it's 9.39 there. So how about we play some Xbox? We I've been talking about it. Let's do it. We're going to play some Madden NFL 19. So let me get this Xbox going. Hopefully it's going to go. I'm going to have to make a quick run over to the um, other side of the room if it doesn't start up. Because it's very possible that this this cord got disconnected. Let me see if it did. No, it doesn't look like it did. No, no, it's connected. I don't know why the Xbox isn't going on. Come on, Xbox. What are you doing? All right, I might have to go start it up. Oh, there it goes. I just had to hold down the button for like five gazillion friggin' seconds. Okay. Scansoft Danielle can't say Liam. Oh, Daniel. You mean Danielle. <laughs> That's Scansoft Daniel is what you get when you raise the rate other the, the pitch on it. Home window. Resume. Is Launch. there a the way to fix your hearing? Menu button for more options. No. One of four. No, there's not. Um, and eventually it's just going to get worse. So I've pretty much just been told enjoy it while you got it. So that's not really... Recently used. Positive, and apps but button. it is the way it is. All right, so we're one. here on my X, my Xbox dashboard screen. And uh, my games and apps window, games, 49 items. I'm one not going to really selected. dig too much into the whole like how everything works thing. Injustice, Gods Among but, Us, um, 1 of 16. Injustice, these Trademark are like two, all my instinct, games. Three, killer Instinct, Class, Rock Band 4, Quidlash, Mortal Kombat, except Madden NFL 19, 5 so of 16. Madden. So we're going to fire up some Madden here. I need to get my... um. I'm going to get my uh, OCR up so I can read the screens. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, awesome. I'll appreciate any... Descri- All right, so I'm going to try to describe this as clearly as I can for you guys. Um, this is a mainstream football game. Um, it's not... What we have access to is very minimal right now, but we have some access, and that's not bad at all. And anybody who says it's bad is out of their minds because this is way more than we had. So we're going to start up Madden. Madden NFL 19, 5 of 16. There we go. And I'm going to see if I can. There we go. Windowed projector. Getting the screen up so I can take a look. Okay, there we go. NFL, PA Sports. Madden, something, 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 something. All right, so I think we're getting the, um, you know, Electronic Arts Incorporated, blah, 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 blah. How do I have the Xbox plugged in? I have a capture card, Kenny. Same with my blindness. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, same with mine too. It just does, it sucks kind of being down to, uh, Two senses. All right, so I gotta, um, I gotta be careful with this game because this game has copyrighted music, and I don't know how to change it. So uh, you're gonna kind of hear me like turn this down from time to time, because too many copyright means that the whole video will get muted. So we don't want that. That'd be no good. All right. So on the screen we have a starting video. Press any button. It says. I'm gonna press a button. Reading storage device. Uh, let's see here. Can I turn this back up yet? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, let's see here. All right, so it's still reading. I think there's going to be a, a roster update. Saving profile. Oh, saving profile. Oh, God. I, I got to turn it down again. I don't want to get copyrighted. I should be doing this on Twitch. All right. Checking. Oh, it's okay. So now we're checking all of our data. It's going to go grab like all the updates. Roster updates. A new roster update is available. You cannot play an online game unless you have the latest version of the roster. Oh, Madden NFL 19 roster created by EA Sports. So we're going to say, I believe this is okay. Hopefully I got it. You were downloading the latest, latest rosters. And player ratings for Madden NFL. Downloading. Please wait. It should go really quick. All right. There we go. All right. We're done. All right. So let me talk about here. Um, so in Madden, we have a new feature now that will tell us what tab we're on on the main screen. So what I'm going to do... is I'm going to go over to accessibility and I got to find where the music is. So give me a second. I'm going to turn off the music so we can. Let's see here. Oh, accessibility. Okay, cool. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, here we go. Game contrast, uh, adjust the type of audio mix you'll hear while playing. Oh, it's not reading this one. Oh, stadium music that would be coming out of the stadium speakers. Crowd volume. Oh, on field. Uh, I think this is... Menu music. All right, good. All right, yeah, we got to turn this off because I cannot, I just don't want to copy or strike. Okay. So this should hopefully be loud enough now. All right. So we are here on the main screen. If it's not loud enough for you guys, let me know and I'll try and adjust it. Just had to rush that. I had to get that. 
how do I read the screen? Um, I'm using Windows 10 OCR and I'm reading um, a direct uh, image capture of the screen that's being done my ca- by my capture card. Hey, Anam. Okay. So, um, like I said, oh, hold on. Oh, it's trying to sell me something. I don't want it. Accessibility. It wanted me to claim a player and spend some money. Okay, Let's so get started with some of the basics no. of Madden Ultimate Team. I don't want to do Madden Ultimate Team. Go away. Leave me alone. Accessibility. All right, so this main screen does talk. Oh, 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 oh. Thank what you. type of OCR are you using? Thank you, Luca. I'm using Windows 10 OCR, which I just said a minute ago, but thank you so much for the 229 euros. All right, so let me uh, show you guys. So this is our main screen. I'm going to go all the way to the left here. And as we move, um, this guy will announce what we're on. So franchise. Exhibition. Exhibition. Long shot. I don't know why it's so quiet. Customize. Messenger. Accessibility. Okay. So those are our tabs. We also have this really cool thing where if I press right and I'm on the edge of the screen... I get this really slight vibration feedback to tell me that no, I can't go any further right. Let me see if the... So that's my controller. I'll try to do that occasionally during the game, but it's not going to always be possible to let you guys hear the vibration feedback. So we do get some haptic stuff to say like, hey, you're at the edge. You can't go any further. Um, okay, Oriel says it's not loud enough. All right, let me see what I can do. Hold on. Spell new follower. That is correct. Thank you. All right, I got it up to the max. Now it's not talking at all. Oh. Long shot. Exhibition. How do I make the monitor louder? Um Hold on just a second. Okay. Oh, game. Okay, I see. So I've got monitor only. Okay, so the monitor. We're using the monitor. Let me see if there's anything I can do to squeeze any more volume out of this. There probably is, actually. I can probably. Oh. Oh, I know what I could do. Oh, no, that's not going to. Man, hold on. Let me check something. No, it's okay. Let's. I'm gonna put it on a different card. Let me throw it onto a different card here, and let's see if we can get some more volume. Exhibition, franchise. There you go. Exhibition, long shot. Now we got it. Now we're cooking with gas. The announcer sounds really mad when they say accessibility, says Stephen K. Yeah, probably. What game is this? This is Madden NFL 19 for the Xbox. Bloodshed and TBR would be horrible games for you to play. Yep. I know. He does. He's, he's like, not happy about it at all. Okay. So here we go. Um, so we have... Exhibition. Now I can go all through all Ultimate these again. Team. All right, so on the left, we usually have like an advertisement for something. Usually it's like upgrade and get points or whatever. Ultimate team. We have ultimate team. You can build your team. You like get these um, trading cards, which is stupid. I'm not doing it. Franchise. Franchise. You can pick a team and build your franchise. 
Um, I haven't done this yet because it's a lot of OCRing, and I'm not sure where to get started. Exhibition. We have exhibition. This is where you pick two teams and you can play a game. Long shot. Long shot is the story mode of the game. I never did last year's. Um, so I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to play this year's. It's really a lot of just quick time events and choosing choices, but it's kind of cool. It's like an interactive movie. If, if you're into that stuff, it's neat. Customize. Customize lets us do things like our, our settings. And if you want to get into like playbooks and stuff like that. Messenger. And then messenger, I think is like, if you have stuff from EA about like tournaments or whatever, they show up there Accessibility. and then we have accessibility, which is well. Uh, accessibility. I think we know. I think we know what that is. If not, I don't know what to tell you because you know. <laughs> so we're gonna do a franchise game. Mess customized. Or, uh, we're gonna do. Exhibition. Excuse me. We're gonna do an exhibition game. So when I go in here, I have the options of. Choose okay, so it says choose from play live on play live online, head to head skills trainer, and practice. So I am on play now at the moment. So we have play now, head to head, online head to head, skills trainer, and practice. So one of the cool things is that usually when you have an item highlighted, um, which it's not doing here. Um, it will actually tell you, it gives you like, there's a, like a little pop up that'll be like, this mode lets you play against the computer or a friend. So it like, it gives you information on what the mode does. So in options, that's how I was able to find my music so quickly. I just looked for the tool tips and read those and it told me what option I was on. Not every game does that, but the games that do it, it's really helpful because it helps you orient yourself to what you're actually on. You can just use that context information. All right, so this is what's pretty cool. This is what I like about this game. So now we get a, a selection of games here. You can play your favorite team's game. Play your recommended matchup. Dallas Cowboys versus Carolina Panthers. Oh, I need to change my game. I need to change my team back. Hold on. Because for a friend, I, I did the... Um, Ultimate franchise. Long shot. Customized. That is handy. Message customized. Um, I did. I changed my team to the Panthers for him, but um, I'm a Bears fan, for better or for worse. So I believe it's here. I think it's two down for settings. Okay, here we go. Settings. I hope this is the right place. Yeah, here we go. Game options. Favorite team is the first option. I'm going to roll it back a little bit. See what team we got. Colts. I'm close. Chargers. Browns. So it should be two left. Bills. Okay. Bengals, jeez, so many B teams. Here we go. Bears. Okay, so I've got the Bears selected. So we're gonna go back to franchise or God, I call it franchise. Customize. Franchise. Long shot. Customize. Fr ultimate team. Exhibition. Exhibition. Oh, I see. So it put exhibition first because we had played it. Exhibition. So it moved it over to the left side. That's really nice that we have um that talking thing because these uh, these change positions based on when you've used them so that's really friggin handy Stephen K says if nothing else having the menus like that I read like there's a huge barrier lifted it's a start man I mean it's and you know what we've been this is only two years I I want to see what it's going to be like in 10 years all right so we're doing play now and play real NFL. Uh, okay, so play a recommended matchup. Chicago Bears versus Green Bay Packers. And that's it. September 9th, 8.20 p.m. Eastern. So that's tomorrow. So we're going to play that game. And uh, by default, I believe it sets, sets the Bears. Skull Vikings. I am EAM Bears. Good luck. 
<laughs> no, don't go Vikings. No Vikings. No Alec. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be the Bears. And uh, I believe... Yep, yeah, loading. So we don't get to set any options because we're playing a... Uh, actual game. So this is, we're going to play tomorrow's game. This is going to be the projected lineups for both games. They're going to actually talk about that this is week one. You're going to hear a lot of stuff that is specific to this game. Um, you're going to, this is what's really cool. You're going to hear a lot of things that are like about what's really going on in the world, like in, in football. So this is kind of cool. So we're still loading. It takes a while. I have an older Xbox. It's kind of slow. We're getting some tips on like, oh, here we go. The oldest rivalry in the NFL on the first Sunday night of the year. It's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. It started in 1921. And now, 97 years later, it's edition number 197 of the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. I'll see you at halftime with a look back at some games from earlier today. But now we head to Lambeau. Standing by, Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, an early so season So I don't tilt, know how the tilt, um, coin, to roll. coin well, toss works. It, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. So I don't know. I think Green Bay gets it by default. Oh, yeah, I'm kicking. All right, so it's the mark. let me explain kicking. So um, I get these vibrations. I get a double vibration. It goes, voop, voop, and that means that get ready to kick. Once I feel a vibration, I hit the A button. That chooses, I believe, that's the strength. And then the second one is for accuracy. So I usually tend to kick off at like full strength and like full accuracy. Um, there are times you may not want to do that. You might want to like kick a short punt to try to hem them in. But I tend to just play that way. Um, better safe than sorry. So uh, here we go. We've just kicked off against Green Bay. Key game of opening weekend and off we go. There it goes. On a Sunday night on EA Sports. He's got this it. This one fielded at the five. There we go. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. All right. So what I did there. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. Pause? It'll be Aaron Rodgers under center who was drafted by the Packers back in 2005 in the first round. Now in his 14th year with Green Bay. Just seven starts in 2017 due to a collarbone injury. Tried to come back late in the year to rally the Packers into the playoffs. Unfortunately, couldn't get it done. But one of the best... All right, here we go. I can pause. Okay, so um, what you usually do, we're, we're playing with what are called arcade controls, which means you literally use the face buttons. So B lets me switch players. When I feel a vibration, I know that I can tackle, so I can start jamming the A button. Um, in most cases, that's how you're going to do it. Now, I believe to block a pass, because this is Rodgers. He's going to throw a lot. He's got, I believe he's got a rating of 100. He's one of the few players in this game that has a 100 rating. Um which is ridiculous, but you know, that's how it is. Um, huh. Coach hope he's better announcing football news than he is at wrestling. Uh, technology 15, a four asking, can I play uh, the Texans at some time? Uh, maybe eventually we'll see. Um, so essentially that's how this works. Now, I don't have all the arcade controls, so I'm trying to use the info I have from last year, and that might be a little off. So my understanding is when they pass, if um, 
so we're on defense right now. And again, you're not hearing the vibrations. I just can't really pipe those through. But if I feel two vibrations, it means they're going to pass. So I'm going to feel one on the snap of the ball. And then if I feel another one, they're passing. And my goal is to block it. And it's either the B button or the Y button. And I thought it was Y, but I don't tend to block very well. So I, who knows? Um, so I'm hoping eventually I can get some clarification. But um, so we're going to we're going to be blocking right now. Uh, we're going to be defending. So here we go. Competitors at the quarterback position in the NFL. He's lost Jordy Nelson, one of his best weapons, but he knows how to bring other guys along and turn them into valuable contributors. All right, snap. Rogers now on oh, pass. Down. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. Oh. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. So that's seven yards right there. Eight yards on the first oh, eight. completion. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Facing a second and two after that last right, catch. All right, see what Good we can do. Yards. Hey, 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 hey. Now the first carry for Ty Montgomery. Now that play is blown up. Nice. Yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of two. Now so I was able to move him back. I was able to sack him there. A first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of coddling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away. In the community's eyes and fan ahead, base, they'll be on you the entire way. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. <laughs> And they didn't really reach to get Pass. anyone as well. They stuck to their nice. philosophy. Nice. Incomplete. The best players they could at the time they were. And I could tell that because I heard the ball bounce. See, when you get you, if you're into football, like you know some of the stuff, like um, and you get used to this game. So that was an incomplete pass by Rodgers. So this is going to be, I think, third and like three or something. And inserted them into their lineup. Now these guys we'll talk a lot too. Trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates. They are chatty as hell. On fourth down, J.K. Scott oh. ready to punt it away. All right, so they're, Cohen is deep for the Bears. they're going to punt it. We're going to try to run it back. Kick. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Yeah. Yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. All right, we'll take it at the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. Leading them out at QB is the former North Carolina Tar Heel, Mitchell Trubisky. I'm excited about seeing his progress because in his rookie year, he started somewhere around midseason and carried it the rest of the way. And you saw improvement week after week. But as they keep adding people around him, and when he plays on a team that has those weapons that you're looking for. All right, now we're on offense, and this is where it gets interesting. So the game, I'm going to let the game select it's what it thinks is going to be the best uh, play for the job. And it will tell me I'll, I'll know because i'm either going to feel a long vibration or a short vibration long means that we're going to go for a pass play if i feel a long one i want to tap my face buttons to make sure my guys are open once i feel another vibration it's going to be time for me to throw the ball so trubisky will throw on his own and my goal is to try to get my guys to catch it if they catch it then we can try to run with it um this is where it gets dicey for me because i can never really tell what I'm supposed to be pressing. I thought I was supposed to be pressing X to catch, but they might have changed it again. And I haven't seen an updated, you know, thing on this. So here we go. Guys, it'd be fun to see him right, run an right. offense as well as skillfully use his legs in order to gain some extra yardage too. Pass. On first down, Trubisky. And in to open things up. Now a look at the offense for Chicago. And running back is Jordan Howard, who was an absolute revelation Howard. as a rookie. Hell but yeah. He finished second to Ezekiel Elliott for the rushing title in 2016. And no sophomore slump for him at all. Go, go. Followed it up with a second straight 1,000-yard season and finished fifth in the league in rushing. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Running play. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Damn. I had no nothing on that. that. It brings up a third and ten. Now for that run, um, because it was a short play, I got the ball. What I attempted to do was try to break a tackle. 
Um, breaking a tackle, you use the B button. I believe A will let you dive forward. Uh, I wanted to see if I could break a tackle, get some yards. That didn't work for me. I failed. Why did I? Oh. On third down. I don't know if he heard a whistle. There was no whistle. He just got up and spiked it. Yeah, if you press A at the wrong time, you'll spike it. Oh, are they doing pack go? Oh, that's gross. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. All right, here's the kick. <laughs> nice! It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And wow. It'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The that was a nice quick. I was able to stop him real quick. Last year. I don't know that anybody foresaw how things would play out. Heavy favorites in the NFC North, but the injury to Aaron Rodgers that cost him more than half the season, ultimately yeah. too much to overcome. And when you think about how Green Bay has played over the last 10 years, there's been a lot of sameness to them, and that's been good. Continuity, offense, defense, coaching staff. But a lot of changes in the offseason for Green Bay, especially on the defensive side of the ball. You'll see a Running. shake up there. Yep. But the best thing for them, Aaron Rodgers, still in a Green Bay uniform. 16 games from Aaron Rodgers, always makes Green Bay a contender for a Super Bowl crown. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. All right, here we go. Come on. Again, they'll go around with Montgomery, and he is met quickly in nice. the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll make it third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he didn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Pass. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And has it damn today. and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory. that sucked first catch of the new season for him and he picks up the first Oof. he's such a good route runner shows it there on third down very proficient and a good pass and you know what i've observed I hate when rogers throws the, NFL, the better a route runner you are the more confidence your guy's going to have right, in you go. to go to you all right here we go times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. First down. Run. There's the run with Montgomery. Nice. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Second and 11, nice. Cleo Mack starting to get a really big Really surprised they're running the so much. I mean, I thought right Rodgers would be throwing so more. Explosive off the edge, getting to the I'm okay with this, though. But he doesn't neglect his run duties as well. How about that tackle right there? Such a package he has, able to play oh the my. run and the pass so well. Running again. Here's Rodgers to throw. No, he's throwing. Caught on the right side by Adams. Oh. And he's brought down after a good game. The legal touching offense. Yes. Yes, penalty. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Oh, okay. That's fine. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. All right. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And he'll just toss it away. Oh, I could have sacked so him. throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Yeah, I could have totally. We'll I had the vibration quick, for the, the tackle. Well, that went right out the Missed window it. there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Here's J.K. Scott now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat Whatever of his happened first. to Crosby? Did he finally retire? Mason Crosby? There's the and kick. He gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Oh, 
Where'd it go? Chicago Bears offense, they make their way <laughs> back just, out. Let's talk about the receiving bounced. core. All of a sudden, it's like, wow, this group might be pretty good. Allen Robinson, who came over from Jacksonville, he's back and looking sharp. And not only that. Have- um, Unimar says, wow, it's been a uh, year since I played a sports game. The commentary is way better than it used to when I used to be- play these things. Oh, yeah, the commentary in this is amazing, and it's constantly updated throughout the season. I wish I had cared about uh, football, like I care about hockey or ba- uh, baseball, but this is still really impressive. About Kevin White, the former first round draft pick who's had nothing but bad luck along the way with injuries, finally scored his first NFL touchdown. That's regular season or preseason in their last game against Kansas City. So that's a feel good See, and that's story a right real there. thing that happened. You want another one? Javon Wims. Oh, yeah. The seventh round wide receiver Run. of Georgia. Leads the NFL oh. receiving yards. Although he does get an extra game Damn. Right, because they did play in the Hall of Fame game. So he got an extra week to get it done. Still, he's looked good. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Pass. On second down, Trubisky. And this is incomplete. God. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it's third down. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense court. I don't really know. I, I thought that uh, X would catch it. Man coverage, because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Pass. On third down, Trubisky. And almost picked Oh, off. come on, man. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. I, no, maybe it's the, the maybe I'm pressing the wrong damn button. The execution of that defense right there. The zone was absolutely I think I am. He was trying to force it I'm going to try A next down. time. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available. I'm sick of go pack go. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. <laughs> so a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Green Bay Packers coming back out here. On this is offense. like listening to a football it's match this fire play. Yeah, it is. Tell me about it. Green Bay played at Oakland last week in the preseason. Of course, Jordy Nelson now is with Oakland. But it was Aaron Rodgers throwing in passes early on in warm-ups, right? It was. You know, a lot of those guys have that pre-pre warm-up where they go out and throw it around a little bit. So the old teammates in Green Bay reunited. Nelson came out and caught some passes from Rodgers. Rodgers didn't play in the game. Nice. And to flip it over, Derek Carr, the starting quarterback for Oakland, his target at Fresno State, one of his best players, Devontae Adams now with the Packers. So he tried it over and reunited with Derek and threw it around a little bit. So preseason, guys get along pretty darn well. Good, good uh, takedown. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And open, that's Marquez Scantling. Oh. And he's able to get this one down to the 40 yard line. They give him 13 yards Damn. on the play and a fresh set of downs. I hit Rodgers. Well, obviously, red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro- yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Oh, end of the first. So one quarter in the books here on our first Sunday night telecast of the year. Nothing, nothing, our score. We're back to Lambeau in just a moment. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. Let's go, hey, let's go, come on. All right. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And little yeah, I don't think so. There. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside Nice. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
All right, we need one more of those. There, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. The Packers on third down. If I Just could find the arcade controls this is third for Med nine. 19, that'd be great. I don't know if any of my sighted pals are tuned in right now, but. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's got Adams on the Damn. Ball. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Oh. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. Evan Aliotto says this is really cool. A play caller because well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. You lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. The first red zone opportunity oh, now crap. for the Packers. Yeah. First Come on, and boys. Ten right at the 20. Rodgers hands to Montgomery. And he'll nope. take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Hold on. Stephen K says, I know so little about football, just never got into it much, but I am still grateful that they put accessibility in. I hope other sports games take advantage. I hope so too. I think it's, I think it's coming. You know what? EA is really interested in it. Um, I think they're going to really try to expand it. So hopefully they do. I'm hoping that maybe like FIFA will be next. Um, so I can play as my Seattle Sounders. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Four down, four down. Check, check. Da, da, da. 19. Da, da, da. On second down, here's Rodgers. Got a man. That's oh. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. Damn. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Um, Liam, can you describe uh, how you're playing this? Um, I kind of did earlier. I'm sorry you missed it. Um, I get a lot of vibration feedback from the controller. Um, so I'll try to. It's, it's hard to describe because I'm getting vibrations from the controller to kind of cue me in on what's going to happen. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. All right. So well, they've been practicing goal line offense all week. Let's see if they're able to capitalize here. They'll run with Montgomery. No. And he's going to take it. Oh. Touchdown, Packers. Ty Montgomery. Damn. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to cash in for six. I had I think I had him on the tackle and I just solid switched to another guy. Front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result, six points. Touchdown. On is Mason Crosby for the Oh, there's Mason. After. I was like I was trying to figure where he was. Miss! Miss! Extra point up and good by Crosby, and it's now a 7 nothing game. So that drive in total, eight plays, and it was all capped on the touchdown run by Ty Montgomery. Crosby on now to kick it away. Get it. Come on. Now the return man. This is Benny Cunningham. Decent return. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. For the Bears last season, Charles, as they come out here, a two-game improvement, but when you go from 3-13 and 13 to 5-11, and 11, not enough to save their coaching staff. So in comes 40-year-old Matt Nagy. He's the new head coach and seems to be bringing a new optimism with it. Yeah, and you hate to put too much on the shoulders of not just... Yeah, no, no, coach, they wrote this in for us. The second-year quarterback of Mitchell Trubisky. They added this for blind players. This is the city of broad shoulders. And I think that he has them, and he's looking forward to working with this new crew. And similar to teams that really elevated with coaching changes. Passing. The Eagles, the defending Super Bowl champions, the Los Angeles Rams last year. I think that can happen here. Oh, I think it is a. Yeah, I think I got it to him. They'll put in place for this quarterback. Head coach who knows quarterbacks, offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach. They will really work with this guy, and I think that this team has a chance to roll. 
They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. Hey, Mason, how's it going? The main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave go, up the score. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Trubisky to throw on second. Muscling free near the foot. Nice. And this is Gabriel on the catch. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Yeah, see, I think the button's changed a little bit. What I'm not I'm not picking plays, uh, Brandon. I'm using the the suggested play. I'm just not OCRing them to see what they are because it just takes too much time. But it's suggesting them for me. So I'm letting uh, I'm letting it coach me. I'm letting it do what it wants to do. Why did you? Oh, I didn't want to do that. It does that sometimes. I think I hit A at the wrong time. Yeah, they do talk a lot. Running play. This is Howard on second down. Oh, he's moving. Oh, now he pulls him over. Yes. Call it no gain on the run there. No gain. I thought he was moving. Down. Well, able to shed some tacklers, but it's all for naught. Yeah, That's that doesn't too bad. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Because this guy was breaking tackles, trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's exactly what he did. A really good effort by him, but give credit to the defense of giving up no gain. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. Let's go, let's go. All right. Come on, gotta go, gotta go. Yes. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. And he gets the tight end. It's Deion Sims. Nice. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And now the clock will stop as he's able to get up and spike I don't know why it does that. I, got you. I, got you. I, I think that if you hit it at a certain time, Pass. On second down, here's Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky's first touchdown pass. Did he get it? Campaign Woo! As they are now on the board here in the first half. Yes. All right, now we're going to kick a field goal. Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. So we had to line them up with the meters. Parky with the extra Nice. Pace. And we are tied at seven. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in That a was a beautiful Chicago. pass by uh, Trubisky. All right, we're going to kick it away. Yeah, there we go. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Oh. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. That's fine. This offense trots back out there now, and as they do, Charles, one thing to point out that we saw a second ago are some of the new rules in the NFL this year regarding kickoffs. Yeah, nowadays, the kickoff team, no more running starts. Remember that when you can you got to circle a guy around, and here he goes? No more. You have to start, you know, close to the ball. And when it's kicked, then you get to take off and go. So you can't build up your speed that way. Also, when you're returning, those wedges that we used to say, where guys would form together, two or three guys, no more of those. So it'd be a lot more man-on-man, one-on-one blocking. And also, they have rules about where people have to be when the ball's kicked, where they have to be when the ball's caught. So to me, it's much more like a punt return than it is an actual kickoff return. So I'm eager to see if teams now take their punt returners, those nifty guys who make people miss in the open field, and make them the kickoff returners as well. 
because I think you can still get big plays in this area if you have the right people back there. Ooh. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scanlon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's fine. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And nice. picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away, and it's second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. And he comes back nice. with one complete. Oof. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Yeah, they kept changing the rules around. The Packers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they really face want to a stop third them on third. Two. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39 yard line. Oh, I think it was enough. It'll be called a gain of two. And Not leave with some options here on fourth and inches. Oh! He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him mm -hmm. as they have on any runner in recent what memory. What are going to do? Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Yeah, I really enjoy the commentary. It's kind of cool, actually. Go, go, this go. is us. Now Trubisky on first down. Got his man complete over nice. the Nice. It's Burton. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Stop spiking so we it. Reach time here in our initial oh, well, that's Sunday fine. Night telecast of the new season. As we'll check in for the first time with the newest member of our Madden family, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first... Time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field oh, cool. in Philly, where it was the visiting Falcons who were able to come away with the victory. The Falcons get out to a hot start as they get the road victory in their opener. From there, let's get down to Baltimore to check in on the Ravens at home at MNT Bank Stadium. And they were winners in their ball game. So it's the predicting these Buffalo games Bills. tomorrow. The Ravens with a strong performance as they get the win at home in the opener. And finally on Monday night, a doubleheader to start the new year. The Jets and Lions in Matt Patricia's debut, followed by Rams Raiders in the return of John Gruden to Oakland. Meanwhile, in our game, each team able to manage just one touchdown apiece. 7-7 is our score. And for the call of the second half, we send it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That was pretty we'll neat. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway There's in the second kick. half. Cunningham now to return. Ooh. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32 yard nice. line. Alex, did so you ever figure the out the 19 arcade controls? To start this third quarter, they have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look. Because I the think first they changed. Quarter three, and it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have go, 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 go. dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they Running have dialed up. They run with Howard, and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Come on, got to go, got to go. You got four. You got four. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he almost Jesus, Trubisky. 
They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Trubisky now to throw on third down. And he's got his man on the out. Nice. Trubisky to Gabriel there for a Bears first down. Oh, yeah, a lot of this stuff is hard to tell when they concatenate. Why do you do that? I'm quite sure what just happened there, other than we do know that he spiked the football. Oh, my God. On first down. As we inch closer. Hold on, what did Alex say? Check Skype, yo. Oh, really? Okay, hold on. Oh, heck yeah. Hold on. I'm going to look at this. Thank you, Alec. All right, I'm clicking. Oh, there we go. Alec sent me a list of the controls. Sweet. Aren't there like arcade controls? These are complicated. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Fake snap, hot root. Snap ball. Okay. Well, I think these I think these will help a little bit. We'll see. Now Liam is unstoppable, maybe. In the regular season, I'm just peering down at some of the preseason records. Right now, Ravens 4-0, Bengals, Panthers, Cardinals, all 3-0. I guess my question is, what stock do you put in these preseason records? No, the easy answer is nothing because <laughs> the preseason doesn't really matter. But some organizations go, do go. put more stock in it than others. Some of them want to win every preseason game. Others don't worry about that at all. Intel has told me that only one team has won the Super Bowl after going 0-4 in the preseason. And that was in a strike year, I believe, when Washington did it. So for the most part, you just don't want to go winless in the preseason. But remember this, the Browns and the Lions both went 4-0 preseasons, then they went 0-16 in the regular season. Speaking of winless teams, Eagles and Falcons both winless right now could be Super Bowl contenders. I still think that they're going to be, whether they go winless or not. The Bears on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Again, it's Trubisky. Caught out left side by Robinson. Nice. A Chicago first down. The former Jag, Allen Robinson, on the catch from Trubisky. So how would you describe that one, partner? Workmanlike right there, getting that first down. How are you watching Blue YouTube on Fire football? TV, Trenton? Um, Because... Oh, wow, on the Fire TV edition. Is that the cube? Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like workmanlike. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. Trubisky now, five straight oh, completions here in this second half, first and ten. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Over the middle complete. Nice. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Why did oh? Not quite sure why I hate that it does that. Other than we do know that he spiked the football. I wish I could figure out why it's doing that. Huh? 
Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Throwing the slant pattern here, complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Slant I thought I heard a gunshot no from the game. The route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Okay, here we go. The Bears on third down. Third They've down. been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third on, and three. Trubisky to throw again. And Robinson with a big catch. Wow. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. See, it, it spiked and it, and I don't know why sure it did that. Just happened there, other than we do know that he spiked yeah, the football. I don't know why it keeps spiking it on me. First down. Oh, it's a TV. Okay. Hurry, hurry. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And he almost intercepted it. Ooh. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Hey, hey. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he can't quite Damn. Get it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. All right, we'll probably I mean, kick. A good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. Kick. They struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up. Oh! And this one is no good. He missed it. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's ah, turn. And how much fun is that? Rush coming, and he's taking oh. down. <laughs> Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now, yeah. following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down. We really moved them back. Rodgers to throw on second down. Open here is Allison. That's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Ooh. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he finds Jimmy Graham. Oh, no. And he'll be taken down just shy of the 40. Damn. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. He gets it over the middle to come. Oh. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They get 10 more there, and I Damn. believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Rodgers now 12 of 15 throwing the ball, 80% so far, and it's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open oh, complete. Oh, man. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Woo. A good pick up there, a 22. That's fine. Rodgers will bring him up to the line, first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. If I could stop him, it would be great. Oh, end of the third. 
One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ah, so use the skill. Okay. Back now at yeah, I have to work with somebody. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. So we come up here on first and ten. Rodgers to throw once more. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Mm. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That throw good for four. It's second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from. Nice. Where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary. Put a little pressure on nice him. Game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, "Ah, I know how to beat that," and that's what he did. To throw is Rodgers on third down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Yes. Woo. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And Crosby puts it through. Damn. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? All After right. the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Oh. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. All right. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. Stop that. On second down, Trubisky. Oh, he and that was is incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. So back to back hurry, incompletions, hurry. and that has them staring at a third and ten. On third down, Trubisky. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. No! Kevin King with a pick. Are you kidding me? Turn stops at the 39-yard Oh, line. man, that might be our dagger. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners. Wow. have the receivers on lockdown. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in uh -oh. certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone. That's not that's good. Thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. 
He's sticking to his game plan. Now that is his game. Shut and that's up. They're going to ride. <laughs> Rodgers now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Now this is the tenth carry for Ty Montgomery. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Damn. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And they get to him quickly nice. as he stopped right around the 13. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right. But the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Blue 58! From the gun on third down, Rodgers. Open man is Allison complete. And the ball is knocked out. And this is picked up by the Bears. Yes! And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because oh, that's I know beautiful. the guys were over there chilling on the oh. sidelines and all of a sudden they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here. Notification from Game DVR. Ooh. Game clip recorded. Go to the guide to open. Oh, it recorded a clip for me. That's back cool. Out there for the next possession. And the interception that ended their previous That's drive. beautiful. That That's be a good clip. Look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner. Guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Following the fumble recovery, it's Trubisky. And oh, almost Trubisky. Intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early down. Yeah, I love that. It recorded it for me. It's he like, oh, that was good. Here, we're yeah, saving it. For him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Got to go, got to go. Second and ten. It's Trubisky again. Wow. And his pass. Trubisky sucks. Tremont Williams there to break that one up. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big hey, play? Gotta go, gotta go. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky finding Gabriel. Nice. Is that enough? And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch good enough for a first down. Nice. See, I don't know what, what's going on with that. Use on defense if need be, as he runs up and spikes it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Hurry, hurry! Red, red, up! Trubisky with a give to Howard. Uh oh. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll wow. Wow. Down at the 39. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Guys, why? Oh, why does he do that? To use on defense if need be as he runs up and spikes it. I just every so often it like. This will probably be the final play before the two minute warning. They go play action. Trubisky. Wide open receiver complete. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Alex says, I wish you could say this. Yeah, it's like, they, it's like they're into the call, and if I hit A, he runs up and spikes it. 
So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. What an opening weekend it's been already. Could the best finish be coming here on Sunday night? We'll find out as we come up on a first and 10. A give to Howard. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Ha ha, Clinton Dix there for the stop. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry up offense. Yeah, see, and I hit A and he. To use on defense if need be as he runs up and spikes it. The Bears on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and six. Back to throw. And that is. In no! Complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here or is he just off hey, just by go, a bit? Go. We're going for Maybe it. Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's back to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Go, go, go. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. Yeah, and see, I don't... The timeouts to use on defense if need be. Maybe I have to pick something. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Nice. That good for 19 at a first down. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, hurry, hurry. big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Ooh. Blake Martinez, the linebacker, was there in coverage to disrupt. Trying to squeeze it in there at this stage of the game. You got to take some chances. Nice come on, come job on. to knock it away, though. You're so right. Understanding where they are in the game, you got to take that opportunity and maybe thread the needle. Unable to get it done there. That's complete. Right around the eight. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Back to throw. No! And this is going to be incomplete. Took their shot at going for the win, didn't get it. Now bring on the field goal unit, tie this thing. It's the right call. I, I truly believe that. But if I'm on defense... I'm also staying a little loose here in case they want to be really aggressive and fake it. Please, please. And Parky's yes. kick is good. Oh. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. Oh, man. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This one fielded at the five. Yep, there and not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if nice. they do just that. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any you got to admit, this is a good life. game. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here.
All right. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. We got it. Cunningham now to return. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Yes. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know hey, what you're go, saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can do nice. the whole thing. Because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. As a fan of the NFL, for an opener, you can't ask for much more than this overtime in week one. I know it's hard to believe that some people may not have been watching our game, but I'll bet their social media, they found out this one was snug and getting into overtime, and they flipped over here in our hurry. This is fantastic. If you're a fan of ball, hurry, you hurry. love these types of games. They'll run it now out of the gun. And now running right through him. And taking it across midfield nice. and inside the 45. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. They go with the ground game, pick up the first. Oh, man, I want to get this territory. touchdown. And that changes the whole mentality of a play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone. Hurry, hurry. Right? You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to him. And now this first drive in OT continues. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Oh. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. Whoa. And give him a gain, 37. Oh. Now, from an offense's perspective, <laughs> that sure was pretty because the corner route, it's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there is that sort of the that evolution of the tight end beautiful. position. Yeah, I think it is because more and more tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some right, agile players go. who can make a play in any spot on the field. They come out here in the eye. On first and goal, Howard. And he is in yes! the score. And it is absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road. Yes. Time. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just huh? want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime. Now that was cool. And we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for Chicago, it was a game that could have gone either way, but they get the touchdown in overtime to secure the week one victory. And they will head home next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll get a home date next week against the Minnesota Vikings. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Wow. So, Jordan Howard had seven carries for 51 yards. Wow. So can we get highlights? Oh, we got player stance. Okay. 
Oh, these are the scoring plays. Let's see if we can get highlights. I don't know where. Is it that one? Oh, it's player stats. Oh, here we go. Highlights. Oh, can we watch these? I see the highlights. I don't know what when you actually open these with this do. There's no reveal. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. No avail. Okay, I don't know how these replays work. What a game. That deserves a super. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Alec, 199. Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, we can't watch any of the highlights. I want to see the one where we won. That sucks. There's got to be... Here's the four yard rush. Oh, I can watch it. All right. Oh, this is cool. So there's the highlight. Can we watch it though? No, I want to see that highlight again. So what's cool is when I highlight these, I can actually OCR them. So it says, first goal, first and goal on Green Bay 4 uh, yard, oh, 4.4 yard rush by Jordan Howard. For, I think that's what I'm on. No, I guess I'm not. Oh, right, you have to hit that. Okay. Well, anyways, that's... So we'll do finish game. Now we got the loading screen up. Still loading. Want to see what happens next? No. Choose yes to continue playing this team season. No, because I want to play... Um... Franchise. So yeah, you can I think it'll actually create a franchise for you and you keep you can keep rolling through the season. It probably brought up in the player we could control. Yeah, I, I just there was no sound or anything. That was pretty cool though. I wish it had snapped a DVR of that one. But uh that was friggin' epic. That was cool. Um I will make sure to um clip that out of the stream at least oh man that was awesome friggin against green bay who's like our big rival overtime friggin that 37 yard pass was amazing though 
or that 37 yard run was was sweet. We needed that like all game and we didn't get it. Well, guys, thanks for for being here. This is really a lot more fun than I thought. So the cool thing is we're going to see some changes to Tomb Hunter, which they you know we desperately need. Um, at least, you know, as far as the difficulty goes for that previous level, um, and hopefully some sounds for things that should really have sounds. Anyways, uh, it's been fun. I will be back. I don't know. At some point. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for being here as always. There we go. I want to thank you guys for being here as always. Thank my awesome patrons. There they are on your screen. I'll give them one more shout out. Big thanks to my patrons. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash Liam Irvin. Big thanks to Sarah M. Tupi, Sarah Hawk, Mika White, Super Freak, Muramura Arilla, Mike Shipper, Tyson Sylvester, Jason Smith, Austin Nix, Chris Scarsted, Simon Yeager, Shane Davidson, Lucas Hajnol, Austin Perry, Santiago, Chad Blanco, Jack Filichek, and Matthew Cooper. So thanks to all you guys that tuned in. Thanks to all you guys that donated. Thanks to all the great super chats. Big, big appreciation for that. Means a lot. Um, I'm glad that you guys were here. Steven Crouch says, nice hearing you again. Yeah, thanks for being here. The death sound is not that good, says Fire Flame Dragon. Yeah, it needs a little help, but it's not a bad game for what it is. Thank you, Fire Flame. Bye, nice stream. Enjoyed it. Thanks to all you guys that tuned in on Skype. I forgot to open the Skype thing this time. Sorry about that. I'll do that next time. Uh, but we do have a Skype group. So maybe if you know somebody that's in it, they might add you. Um, anyways, I don't really have too much else. Uh, I think I'm pretty solid. I'm going to turn off the Xbox, though. There we go. But uh, that was fun. I had a really good time. Uh, I hope you guys did, too. Uh, lasted longer. I thought I was going to be here like an hour. We played like three hours. We had a good time. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm missing. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, hopefully we'll have a Tomb Hunter update. So I'll play that in a couple days. I'm going to take a kind of date of myself, you know, to relax and all that. So maybe I'll be back Monday or Tuesday. Anyways, keep watching out for updates. Make sure you subscribe. Click that subscribe button so that you get up uh, notifications. And make sure, too, that you enable notifications so that you know when I'm going live. Anyways, I'm out of here. As always... Thanks for watching and or listening. Bye.